Howdy y'all, at the Yesteryear Farm Show up here by Longmont, Colorado. Let's see what they got. A little AR. It's like a miniature version of I, our D. You know, I'm not sure. Let me let me look. Here. I think that rope's there for a reason. Yeah, but... I know, but I'm not. Sure. <laughs> Usually the tag's back here. That's pretty cool. It says 1937, so it's the same year as our deer, our D. Yeah. Yeah. Got the Molines. I know a few people that like those. And all those Chalmers. A Z. Dairy I worked for had one of these. They actually burned it up while they were irrigating. Burning ditches. That was a shame. Got the wheel weights off of it, I think. I have those somewhere at home. And in a little case. This is S. But Dad's mentioning that this has a six-cylinder Hercules. You know that engine, don't you? Yeah, the smoothest sounding engine you'll ever hear. Yeah. What did we have a Hercules in? Uh, John Deere number 55 combine. And what was your favorite part of it you always mentioned? When, when it throttled up to dump weed in the truck, it just sounded so good. It's a case. Corps of Engineers. And they got a little carry-all on the back of it. Oh, this is one of those that, that tumbles. Yeah. Super C. Very nice. We were just looking at this 4020. I noticed they moved the PTO over to the right side on the 4020 as opposed to on our 4010. It's on the other side. The Gibson tractor, and these were actually made here in Longmont, in this very town where we're at. There's a couple of them here. Don't know much about these. Got a Wisconsin engine, it says, air cooled. 1946. This little Gibson's got a little sickle mower on it. And a snow plow. Neat little utility tracker. Twenty ten, the baby of the lineup. Pretty cool, this H with the clear coat over the patina. I don't, I don't know. 1943. Yeah. Kind of like that. It kind of just preserves it. It's like taking a snapshot in time. A lot of stuff. The biggest show I've ever seen here. Yeah. Yeah. Unusual for Colorado. We don't have stuff like this. No. Not too much. There's a uh, late model. Not anymore. Oh. There's a late model Jeep with twin stacks. Oh, look at that. Just fired it up too. Rumley. Not too many of these left in this neck of the woods. A 
And of course I had to find the caterpillars. What a nice 22. This one's got electric, electric start, lights. I even got the louvered panels on the side. Kind of rope the old rope around her, huh? Just like 4G is going to be. Yeah. Get the old pony motor started. I could tell you were a plumber by the handle on that pole. Hey! That's <laughs> <laughs> a piece of copper. Huh? Piece of copper. That's all. All right, let's see. we got a little, little gas. That make your day? Yeah. This must be a transitional year. Oh, yeah. Four wheel drive Minneapolis Moline. The Moline on the counterweight, they got a right a white emblem on here. Let me uh yeah, walk out and see that Papa. That thing is a horse. Dad found the 1566. Healthy amount of suitcase weights. And just a couple of wheel weights on it. Just a few. More Molines. Z. B F. Not sure what that means. So this is a 37 John Deere D, just like the one we have. I, I kind of like the patina. Ours actually did look like this right before Dad and Grandpa restored it. They were actually running a thrashing machine with this a little bit ago. I just missed it. And the thrashing machine. We had an international one of these that I wanted to keep, and I was outvoted by my wife and the cleaner. And I really wanted to hang on to it. It wasn't in terrible shape. This, uh, we were running this with that 1937 John Deere D a little while ago. We got the M over there with the farmhand on it. And it looks like an IH Baylor, belt driven. And over here, I buy a drum uh, Grandpa and the cleaner are watching the steam tractor fire up and they're going to run something over there. This is a yesteryear's tractor cell. And I'm going to go inside the Doherty Museum that's just adjacent to these grounds and see what they got in there. I think he's actually enjoying himself. I'm about to enjoy myself with uh, cocktails and... I'll probably have to edit that one out, but... Why? 